you believe that this is impossible but today the lord gives one promise word i will i will send the holy spirit upon you and god can do everything jeremiah 32 17 god can do everything nothing is too hard for him and those who believe in him jesus said they also will do it as god is doing because those who believe jesus enters into them and they are not doing it but christ is doing through their hands and legs amen amen galatians chapter 220 no longer i live but who lives jesus lives in me do you believe yes father that's why do you are doing all these things Amen. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. So no longer I but Jesus Christ lives in me. All of you read it together. It is no longer I. It is no longer I. Who live? Who live? It is Christ. It is Christ. Who lives in me? Who lives in me? And the life I now live. And the life I now live. In the flesh. In the flesh. I live by faith in I the Son of God. I live by the faith in the Son of God. Faith in Jesus Christ. Faith in Jesus Christ. Who loved me? Who loved me? And gave himself for me. And gave himself for me. The now uh, do you understand the meaning of the promise word you will do greater things than i have done who is doing it actually jesus tell me who is doing it jesus jesus who is in you and who is in me all the credit honor and glory just goes to jesus he is doing it but our hands are being used our sound is being used our sight is being used our faculties are being used by jesus who is doing all these things through you jesus, jesus. that's why saint paul said philippians 4 13 i can do everything through jesus who is in me lifting up your hands now i just tell you there are possibilities in your life what you are interested to do and what is given to you or entrusted to you Do you think that there are some blocks and bondages? Let the Holy Spirit come to me to you and to me and enable us to pray to Jesus who is within us to act. Jesus will act. He will work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep our hands down. I just give you a testimony of George Carver Washington. and uh, he is an agricultural scientist in us and he is an afro american those days there was slavery assisted he could not study till 10th or 10 years old he was like a slave working in a family and uh, taking care of the cattle one day one white boy came to his compound to play that boy casually said tomorrow is sunday today is saturday we are going to sunday school he said what is school school has so many students are work, uh, sitting together and studying then what is sunday school on sundays we are singing hymns to jesus who lives in us that boy said who lives in us we just sing hymns to him and we pray to him that's all and many things but this boy didn't understand anything because he didn't know what is school what is sunday school he is only a slave father mother are slaves and uh, great grandfathers also slaves but suddenly this boy george heard this message that when that boy left he just knelt down knelt down and put his hands on a barrel like this and he prayed jesus what that boy said is correct you sent your power upon me and i want to study i want to become a great person i don't want to live like a slave as my forefathers did i want to make a change in my life if that boy said is correct come to me lord come to me so jesus entered into him a big light entered into him he got lot of confidence peace joy enlightenment 
he went and asked his master i want to study where i have to send in this state there is no schools for you or such kind of people there is no school so send me to next city or next state i allow you to run away from this place and i release you the certificate of liberty you go in your own way i'll give you some money and he went to another state and studied and studied within one year he completed his 10th standard at the age of 10 and he entered into university such kind of brain power and um, when i prepare today's adoration i just google it also george carver washington a wonderful amazing testimony and every sunday he used to preach the word of god telling that christ will come to you all my achievements is done by jesus who lives in me and he just given this message to all university students and he just addressing all the scientist group there also he would say science and faith in jesus is complementary in nature jesus will enlighten our brain and we will be able to invent many things which others do not know and he invented more than of 144 products and cosmetics out of peanut praise the lord praise the lord so what is the promise word today you will do more things than i have done because i am going to my father and i am just entering into you by faith the living example is today's testimony steffi by faith jesus entered into her what is impossible turned possible and george carver washington another testimony there are several testimonies and tomorrow you also will be a testimony for the glory of jesus acts chapter 18 acts 18 you are my witnesses because the holy spirit helps you so by faith jesus is alive in us lift up our hands now by faith in jesus jesus enters into you and that jesus works in you according to the inspiration of the holy spirit and through that inspiration of the holy spirit you are asking to jesus jesus work now not according to your desire according to the inspiration given by the holy spirit you ask something now if you have any blocks or bondages or if you have any sickness in your body ask jesus remove this sickness from my body oh lord if it is inspired by the holy spirit now 29 persons who have a brain hemorrhage they are being healed thank you jesus thank praise you lord thank praise you lord. lord praise lord thank you jesus thank you jesus so when i announce it through the holy spirit that message is given by the holy spirit jesus suddenly enters into 29 persons who have this brain complaint those who believe they will receive this healing Amen. and they will come here to give their testimony hi vp 55 people are being healed right now Thank and you, never you imagine that you will be out of your blood pressure now it is happened Amen. Thank, you, thank you lord thank you lord praise you jesus praise you jesus in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen Mama Maria, I beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, I beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, I beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, I beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, I beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, I beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, I beseech your son Son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions Mama Maria I beseech your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions Mama Maria I beseech your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions Mama Maria I beseech your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions Pray for us O holy mother of God that we may be worthy of all promises of Christ Today let them become witnesses to Christ Jesus. Let everyone become witness.
to Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Habala marai sholo habala na. Habala habara sholo habala marai sholo habala marai sholo habala na. Let us pray the divine mercy chaplet during this mercy prayer. Holy Spirit descending upon you. Jesus already enters into you. Revelation 3.20 I am standing at the door. If you believe in me, I will enter into you. I will enter into you. And I will work through you using your faculties. And you will do great things, better things, more things than I have completed. The reason that that I am doing it. Amen. Amen. Yesterday I saw a WhatsApp message. One small boy invented something. By his sound, he is opening the doors. And he is just asking, open the door, door is opened. In the kitchen cabinet, in the, the basement, that the ground cabinet, opening, open the door, it opens. Close the door, it is closed. Several times he did. His father and mother came. What technology you invented, my son? You are in the kindergarten. Yes, God has revealed it to me. They said, open the door. Nothing happened. Close the door. Nothing happened. When he said, open the door, it is opened. Finally, the mother opened the that door of the cupboard. His small brother is coming out. <laughs> He asked his brother to go inside. When I say, you have to push it. When I say, you have to push like this. He is operating. <laughs> and he is standing there as if he is doing. His sound is doing it. When we come to Jesus, actually, like the small brother, Jesus is inside. And we are asking, get up and walk. They are walking. People are thinking that our sound made them heal. And we also think, I have done it. But actually, who has done it? Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So all glory and honor to Jesus. Forever and, forever and, ever. and ever. We are not doing, we are not able to do anything. As Jesus said, you cannot do anything. Apart from me. John chapter 15, 5. Apart from me, without that small brother sitting there, he could not open the door and close it, like in an automatic way. His sound is creating miracles. He got some invention. In the same way, Jesus said, you are not at all doing anything. If any miracle happened, it is Jesus. That is done by Jesus. He is operating it through our sound. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let us realize that Christ is in us. Let us have that revelation. Holy Spirit reveals Christ is in you. Colossians chapter 1, verse 27. Don't you know that Christ is in you? In all religions, in all human beings, Christ is in them, but they do not know it. Because Holy Spirit doesn't reveal it to them. So we have to ask the Holy Spirit to get all the revelations. What the Lord is going to do through your faculties, Holy Spirit has to reveal it. Then you have to ask to Jesus. Suddenly he will do it. This is a big mystery. Let us pray together. You aspired Jesus, Jesus, but the, the source, source of life, life not for the, the souls. souls. And the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O found of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. 
but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of, of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. I, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, our Lord. Lord. He, he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us receive some blessings in our families. Lift up our hands. Let us receive some blessings in our finances. What do you think were impossible in your family? Today we have a wonderful live testimony. The one who has come from Mumbai and he said I was suffering of muscular dystrophy. Last year I came here and I am healed. I'm able to walk and my marriage was broken. I got a message from Logos, next year you will be married and this year he married and he has come to give this testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. And uh, where is that brother who has given that testimony? muscular dystrophy and he is healed and he is standing at my left hand side Thank you, Jesus. and his marriage also took place lift up your hands brother hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank, you, thank you jesus so he made considerable improvement and able to manage by himself and also he got a remarriage he has got second marriage so what is impossible in the family or in the finances when jesus enters into you by faith holy spirit will tell you what to ask to that jesus who takes care of your faculties kindly sit down hallelujah, hallelujah. thank you jesus. thank you jesus lifting up our hands families and finances are also going to be blessed now and also we have wonderful testimonies 10 years after 15 years after people receive gift of child in their womb that they consider impossible it is possible testimony number 10 Rohani Dins from Goa giving a testimony Hannah is blessed with the gift of a baby baby boy after 10 years of their marriage through this online ministry and prayer in proxy praise the Lord, praise the Lord. thank you Jesus thank you Jesus now let us pray. Eternal Father, I, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world keep on lifting up our hands praise and thank him and rejoice in his presence Oh, la, la, la. Touch the Lord now. Now the Spirit of the Lord is moving over you. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 19 says, God will not punish anyone. Even though you have done hundreds of sin, God will not punish you. But Jeremiah says, your wickedness will punish you. 
there will be a reaction of action that is not connected with god almighty don't think that god has punished some people god made some people crippled god made some people blind because of their sins or sins of the ancestors bible says god doesn't punish anyone but by the inspiration of the devil and their cooperation they have done wicked things now that wicked things start working within them like a substance is working against them and devil is enjoying it rejoicing in your tears and what you have to do now come to jesus with all the sins jesus says i have solved your sins so only jesus can do it brother and sister you have done something wrong and now that wickedness punishing you several problems one after another against you devil enjoying it but now jesus within them like a substance is working against them and devil is enjoying it rejoicing in your tears and what you have to do now come to jesus with all the sins jesus says i have solved your sins so only jesus can do it brother and sister you have done something wrong and now that wickedness punishing you several problems one after another against you devil enjoying it but now jesus says my son my daughter come to me come to me i will absolve your sin i will just make you free from that consequence of the wickedness that you have done so jesus has come to this world to carry our sickness Matthew chapter 123 he will save the people who will save the people jesus. jesus will save all people from all religions from their sin if they believe and accept him amen amen thank you jesus thank you jesus and god is with us god is with us he is emmanuel and uh, verse 22 what this emmanuel with us doing it just believe in jesus your sins will be forgiven Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So these all are going to be fulfilled in our life. And was 21 also that we read. The angel Gabriel given this message. You will bear a son. And you are to name him Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. they have done multitude of sins and wickedness has troubling them torturing them carry some article 1473 says god doesn't punish but wickedness will come upon you then that wickedness troubling you and making you your life miserable come to jesus just to believe suddenly jesus will set you free what you have done you have done nothing but only believe in jesus and jesus says to you don't create to more troubles in your life more wickedness should not do that go in your own way john 8 11 i don't condemn you my sister you are a prostitute but i don't condemn you go in your own way i have absolved you and i saved you even from death penalty all people wanted to stone her to death Jesus only there to save her nobody else all people from small and big young and old wanted to kill her and spill her blood but Jesus said on account of her sin prostitution and adultery don't touch her i just set her free from this wickedness hallelujah hallelujah do not do it again that's all nothing else you have to do come to Jesus believe in him take decision I will not do it again. Is it wonderful or not wonderful? Wonderful father. Then why are you staring at me as if I have done something wrong? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. So he carries our sin and also our sickness. But Jesus said carry your cross. The responsibilities. Matthew 16:24 your cross that you have to carry. But your sickness give to Jesus. your sorrows give it to jesus your sins give it to jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus some people think oh jesus has already suffered much why should i give my additional burdens 
There is no additional burdens in the life of Jesus. No additional burdens. Why? Have you heard of Anopheles mosquitoes? Yes, Father. What is their work? Spreading, Spreading malaria. But have you ever seen any of the Anopheles mosquitoes being admitted in the hospital because of malaria? <laughs> they have shivering and they have a lot of problems to preserve them. So we have to give some medicine and coina and other things to these Anopheles mosquitoes. They are carrying the virus, but never be affected. Jesus can carry the sin of all human beings and all consequences of the wickedness in his body. From whom? Only take a decision. No more wrong actions. Only actions according to this book. Your sins are forgiven, I tell you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank what you, do Jesus. we have to do? Come to Jesus. He was crucified for our sins. Do according to this book. Your wickedness will not punish you hereafter. What a simple technology to be healed, to be freed, to be liberated. And what is the promise word? I am in you. I will do many things through you. And you will do more things. And I will honor you. I will honor you. And I will install you. I will respect you. I will cause you to respect. Other people will respect you. I will make you a respectable person. But who is working all these things through us? Jesus. Jesus. No longer I, but Christ is alive in me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. So who is hidden in us? Jesus. Jesus. What we need to see him? Holy Spirit. Gift of revelation. Spirit of revelation that we need. And also more things being done from this pulpit. We all are going to do many more things. Nesa giving testimony from Goa. I am thyroid free after two years. And my mother is freed from acid reflux. And my father is blessed with a good job. Now they come here to give Thanksgiving after attending Thanksgiving retreat. Thank Where are Jesus. they? They are standing in the front row. Praise the, Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So what that we think impossible, that is being possible. Now lift up our hands. In the name of Jesus, I bless all families. Let it become domestic church, a place of worship, place of fellowship. In the name of Jesus, almighty and all powerful God, I bless your finances. Let it be multiplied in the hands of Jesus. Matthew 14, 19. Jesus took the fish and bread, multiplied it. What we consecrate, the areas of our finances and our career, let it be multiplied, increase and multiplication may happen. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All glory and honor to Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the transformation of our enemies. Do you think that all the terrorists will be transformed? Yes, Father. Yes, I believe. Do you think that all war and war among us will be transformed? Yes, I Father. believe. Do you think that all persecutions will end very soon? Yes. I believe. Do you think that all acceptors of bribe and bribery will be stopped in this world? I believe it will happen. Do you think that all injustice will be stopped? It will happen. So we have to do SEP prayer. We will see a wonderful world very soon. That is your responsibility, my responsibility to save our brothers and sisters whose faculties are guided by devil. We have to set them free. They do not know what they are doing. Luke 23, 34, they do not know what they are doing. Jesus has already forgiven them, but still the devil is using their faculty. We have to suspend these faculties and ask the Holy Spirit, instead of the devil, Oh Holy Spirit, now you take care of it. Let us pray. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world keep on lifting up our hands looking to jesus hallelujah 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 Thank you and praise you Jesus for all the blessings that you are all have received. Let your spirit move over all over the world. Let Jesus Christ enter into all believers. Let the Holy Spirit reveal to everyone what they have to ask to Jesus to act according to the promise word in the Bible. Lord, give them the promise word. Thank you Jesus. Thank you. so holy spirit will remind us what is the promise word according to that promise word you may formulate a prayer and a request to jesus jesus will do it immediately that promise is the plan of the heavenly father and also jeremiah 32 verse 40 god has decided something for you and he has made a covenant with you god will not be tired of doing good things in your life we will be tired by doing good things people who are doing bad things they are not at all tired people who are doing something good they will be tired extremely tired but the lord says i will not be tired of doing good things for you that is jeremiah chapter 32 verse 40 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. What is Jeremiah 32:40? I am may I am making a covenant all of all with you. It's a good covenant, wonderful covenant. And I am not being tired of doing good things upon you. All of you read it together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. I will not bring disaster to you. I will not bring disaster to you. I will bring you. upon you. I will bring upon only you only good things. Only good things. Now I promise to you. Now I promise to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And verse what he says about a covenant. So God has made this covenant. Now all of you stand up. And look into Jesus. let us pray for the transformation of the enemies of the humanity and the church those who have some experience or being tormented by somebody or land is grabbed your money is taken by somebody through forgery somebody expecting bribe from your side and you are not getting your rights done somebody is doing always injustice against you in all these cases you have to do the acp prayer all the details that i have given in this book the last part of this book acp prayer look at jesus all terrorist and war mongers all over the world strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all persecutors and doers of injustice strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all liars cheaters exploiters land grabbers strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all devil worshipers and demon worshipers strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel in the name of jesus i pray over all logosians let them be freed from the atrocities of the enemies for their transformation let all logosians may use seven swords that is the seven words that will lead these people towards deep repentance and salvation through jesus christ once that they will be repented 
other side they will enjoy salvation through Jesus Christ Amen. so today I have seen in my vision more than of 300 people are freed from the atrocities of the land grabbers Thank you, Jesus. they are running away out of fear of God from your property Amen. and also 155 people who are the victims of cyber crimes through online fraud you have lost considerable amount you are getting it back you, and Jesus. also there are people who are doing injustice against you and filed long wrong lawsuit now they all are withdrawn Amen. these cases are withdrawn thank they you, have Jesus. withdrawn it Praise thank you Jesus thank you Jesus so wonderful blessings will happen if you are the victims of injustice and crimes or terrorism or war please do the SCP prayer Jesus will act in this world he will do something great in this world his works are known as miracles devil's works are known as magic so magic will be finished miracles will work out but always we do our responsibilities by taking the cross which God has given to us with the five remuneration in it every day I preach about these five remunerations all of you know it and also when we pray the sister remuneration also will be that is our own testimony the sister blessing also will happen that is our own testimony in the name of Jesus I bless all Logosians all of them may get the power and grace to do a CP prayer and binding and casting out prayer and rest of the prayers for anointing of the Holy Spirit for receiving the anointing of the Holy Spirit that is personal prayer and common prayers page 97 and 101 kindly sit down let us pray for the healing of our inner wounds eternal father, father I, I offer you the, you the body and blood, blood soul and divinity of your, of your dearly, dearly beloved, beloved son our, our lord jesus, jesus christ, christ in atonement, atonement for our sins, sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world keep on lifting up our hands we are going to be healed of all our inner wounds we are going to bind and cast out the blocks and bondages entered into our life Spirit of infirmity centered into our life. With Jesus who is in us, we are going to bind and cast them out. Only Jesus can do that, but he is within us. By the revelation of the Holy Spirit, we have to ask to Jesus to bind and cast out these spirits and keep under his feet, it will happen. Let us pray. Jesus can do that, but he is within us. By the revelation of the Holy Spirit, we have to ask to Jesus to bind and cast out these spirits and keep under his feet, it will happen. Let us pray and see. If a sight is blocked, do not be depressed. One prayer that you need, binding, casting out prayer, and also personal prayer and common prayer. These are the three prayers. Generally, we do it to get all the blessings. Personal prayer, common prayers, and also our binding casting out prayer lifting up your hands now all wicked spirit of blindness in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all wicked spirit of blocks and bondages in the line of your conception in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all the blocks and bondages in your career and promotion in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all wicked spirit that entered into your health area 
in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all wicked spirit that prevents your growth in the life in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of all jesus all wicked spirit of depression and sorrows in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of all jesus all bad spirit of spell and curse in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all bad spirit of substance abuse in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of all jesus. negative spirits in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus yes lord we all know that you are going to do wonderful works in our life and you are going to make use of our hands eyes and sound in a most wonderful way but devil and demons are preventing it in the name of jesus i bind and cast out these spirits and put under the feet of jesus and i set all the logosians free from all these bondages amen amen so let